Greetings! Welcome back to Fable Free. Yeah. What the hell was that sound? Doggy, are you okay? I think that was the sound he makes when he's a clockwork doggy. Not our nice, truly bulldog doggy. But okay. Move, move. Uh, okay. Let's hurry up with, with you. Can I just... I don't know, push you from the ledge? Sorry, doggy. Wow, <laughs> you've done that before. I should think that, or you have amazing instincts. I have to tell you, I've been with William so long, I forgot how incredible it can feel to be with someone exciting. I want more. What do you say? We make a go of this. I'll leave William, and you and I can be together. You've got a ring, you've got a house, <gasps> you're gonna be very hard to resist. I have a house? Right, we have a house. Go ahead and ask and see how strong my resistance is. Do I have to? I didn't really want to waste a ring on her. William. Oh, I wish I'd met you five years ago. Would have spared myself a lot of crushing boredom. Okay. Well, now you can run faster than when I when we were going on the bridge. Really, now she matches my sprinting speed. Once, if she doesn't suddenly stop. What the hell? I've got news for you, William. You're not going to like it. And I'm about. Damn it. <laughs> Truly, I've decided we're not right. For more specifically, you're not right for me. So, here are the divorce papers. You may consider yourself an ex-husband. Veronica, I don't know what to say other than... Thank you. Thank you for doing just what I knew you would. What? You planned this all along? Sorry to say. I'll file these with the city clerk first thing tomorrow morning, and then we are officially history. Thanks again. Well, my enterprising love, aren't you a piece of work? You make a deal with a husband to split up his marriage and leave his wife penniless? Rather underhanded, I would say. I wonder, just how despicable are you willing to be? Because... If I think this through logically, if he never makes it to that office, the divorce never happens. And then instead of marrying a hot-blooded divorcee, you'd be landing yourself a very wealthy widow. What? You can't mean... you'd kill me? Well, technically, he'd kill you. <laughs> I'm sorry, William, but it is a lot of money. You haven't left me much of a choice. Don't listen to her. You can just... Walk away. This doesn't concern you anymore. Yeah, and I remember that I almost tried to kill him. I really tried, but in the end, I killed both of them. 
with one swift blow of the blade. You're not really going to divorce your true love, are you? You're unbelievable. You just tried to have me killed, and now you're trying to worm your way back into my heart. I was confused. This whole awful affair has reminded me how much I really love you. Let's just tear up those papers and start again. And as long as we're tearing, maybe we should have at these clothes as well. Oh, well. No. Wait a minute. I'm not falling for that. It's over. Get out of my house. Oh, all right, fine. You're a disappointment, William. I wanted to make it work, but if you don't want to try, I'll leave. And I'm taking my jewelry with me. Fine. And good riddance. And thank you for 20... 2020 seals. Not correctly. Now we have to find a lady for ourselves eventually. Wait. Oh, I can just go like that to check quest list. This. Oh, the game. The voice. <laughs> Kidnapped. Silver pen curse. Oh, we only have that. The final insult. What? <gasps> Will we meet? Wait. Wait, what? Wasn't it the mist peak? Millfields. I saw. Well, well, we haven't been to Millfields as of yet. Okay, we, we will go there. First thing. First of. Where is it? Final insult and restoration. <gasps> okay, first of all, I want this one. Because it might. If I remember correctly, it will allow us to get into regions we can get to yet. I know it may sound hectic, but it's. Oh. I hope you don't mind me killing them off. Man, off of you. Oh. Oh. He died. Yes, where is it? Thank you. Wedding ring. That's good. At least we've got it back. Yeah, it was me. Okay, you are pretty. We can chat. I need a child. Okay, when are you going to stop chatting? Thank you. I'm only doing that to open one demon door. Congratulations! Three out among the people has paid off. Remember that interacting with the citizens of our is generally a reliable way to gain. All I have is friendship to give, but if you help me, I shall give it freely and generously. Okay. I say, would you be so kind as to take a package to a friend for me? Okay. Jolly good, off you go, and don't forget to let me know when you've completed the job. Okay, where the, to the old quarter? Oh, I don't think we can get there as of yet. And where is the restoration quest? Okay, let's walk around. So I don't quite remember where the bridge is supposed to be. But okay, come here, come here. Oh, I think it's up there. Thank you. Picture. What kind of picture? Of Albion Castle, I think. 
Okay, there it is. Hello. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Griffith Smith, and I'm the president of the Albion Historical Restoration Society. Before you once stood a bridge to the site of the old gypsy camp where our late monarch was raised many years ago. Alas, the bridge has fallen into disrepair, and this historical site of interest will soon be forgotten. Perhaps I can persuade you to make a donation to keep this place of such historical significance alive. Well, of course. Thank you very much. Another victory for the Albion Historical Restoration Society. Come back later on once the bridge has been built. Okay. Start straight away. Seeing you brings back memories. Of wanting my eyes gouged out. Where are you? Yeah, you're waiting for me to get the package delivered. Okay, I think he's on this. He's somewhere on this wall. Heard him. Where are you, doggy? Okay. Yes. Come on. Thank you. Now what do we have here? 400 gold. Nothing interesting up here though. Why is it open? Can I buy it? No, I, I am really curious. Why is this house open? No. Okay, and why? Oh, your child was already creeped out by that. I actually thought it was an old lady. Oh, nope. <laughs> Not yet. Yes, I can see the gnome. Uh, okay, can I just do it like this? Okay. Chill, I'm just after the gnome. Okay, now we can get back up and let's go. Can I read that? Oh, I can. Okay. Jeffrey Cohen. Now there was some else. I saw some other quest mark here. Yeah, it's right there. Let's check it out. I'll take as many quests as I can right now. Oh, hello. Thank you for a contribution to me gaining ex my experience. Yeah, it doesn't look particularly good. You're right about that. Wait, who I have here? There's a, if there's anything here, no. I think there's a digging spot? Yeah! Thank you! Mm, diamond. That's very nice. Ah! Okay, okay. Everything's fine. Don't worry. What's again? Come on. Thank you. Emerald. Whoa, this place is rich. I might. Okay. I cannot stress how imperative it is that this vital communication reaches its recipient post haste. This is the final letter in what has been my life's work. 
I've sent post to every single person in Albion except for Zachary. And this one for me? So, will you take it for me? Sure. Excellent. <laughs> Okay, then let's go to Brightwall. Still some quests in Morningwood. Uh, well, you know what? Instead of just doing quest for ourselves, do us another. Oh, put the book in place. Away! I thought I had it. On the way. Oh well. Um. I forgot what I wanted to say. Oh, right, instead of getting just 100 guild seals, because it will be not cl not even close enough. Oh! We'll get as many as we can. Yeah, we're not close. Who's Zachary? Is it you? No. I think I remember where he stands and I'm not 100% sure but it might be him. Yes, it is. Wow, a letter for me? Yep. I wonder what it says. <clears throat> Dear Zachary, you are an ugly, incompetent buffoon and nobody likes you. You're sincerely Arthur. Oh, how rude! That's our offer! Okay, what do we have left to do? Let's go back to quest sales. Moms are evil, we can do that. I don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah, an ancient key. No. No, 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 I'm not gonna do that. It's a shame that even the demon door are showed up as quest. Yeah, we have one here. That's why it always bugs me. Let's see what's happening in Morningwood. Bored to death, peace, love, and homicide. Wait, did I get every house? No, I didn't. Buy a rent. Q and buy and rent. Thank you. And you guessed it. Buy. <laughs> okay, can I repair them? Oh, yes, I can. So let's get. Oh, I remember this one. It's interesting. And it is kind of connected to what happened in Fable 2. Yeah, yeah and stuff in Fable 2 is kind of connected to what happened in Fable 1, so... Okay, we need to up our... Magic. Ah... Okay. Thank you. There's, there's, that's another seal. Oh, and when we are in Bowerstone, we might get ourselves another set of clothes. No. Sorry. Oh, right! Uh, what about it? We'd really be ever so grateful. This is no ordinary book. It's the Normanomicon. It can summon the dead. Well, that makes it sound so insidious. We don't want to do anything diabolical with the dead. Of we course. Need someone to have a chat with. I can't believe you. Yeah. Why couldn't you have thought of the book before we left? Oh. Yeah, well, at least I thought of something, which is more than you've done. I had the idea to come here in the first place! Yeah, and look how well that's worked out. Yeah, you said that already. So unless you have something interesting to say, which I doubt, why don't you shut up? 
shouting so much? He's going to think we're evil ghosts, and we're not. Well, what good does it do to say that? If we were evil ghosts, we wouldn't admit it anyway, so that we could more easily do our evil. Look, you might not want to stand there and listen to all this. <laughs> we'll probably just be saying the same thing over and over again. Okay, I just wanted to accept your Why couldn't mission. Why you the book before we left? Ah, genius. Problem solved. Yep. Now, the thing is, the book is in Millfields. Our mum's got it. She always said she'd take it to her grave. Which she did. You'll have that book over my dead body, she hmm. used to say. Yeah, she was right. Which was eerily prescient. So all you have to do is dig it up. That sounds easy enough. So let's get back to Millfields. By our wonderful means of teleportation. And let's see, we are looking for a grave and I have no idea which way we... Okay, this is Bower Stone. So we don't want to be near anywhere near that as of yet. I kind of remember where it was. I might be a little bit off, but I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty confident in my ability to find that just some kind of poster. I don't know, it's just an elevator. It's just a, an elevator. But I think we can find something in this booth. Please. Yes. I shall in time explain the many strange and incredible escapades that occupied me during the following years. For now, I will simply remark that I hunted hidden treasures and set on dangerous quests in the very same manner that the heroes of legends once did. In short, I exhausted almost every legitimate means by which a young man may experience life at its fullest. It must have been this exhaustion, coupled no doubt with the fact that I could never quite shake off my involvement, accidentally otherwise, with criminal behaviour, that led me in the end to run with a band of smugglers operating out of Barristone Port. After a few weeks of contrabanding, it was inevitable that I would wash up in the capital of such activities, Bloodstone. Its uncouth nature, colourful characters, and almost daily barroom fistfights that are rather unhealthy and until then quite hidden appetite for the pleasures only the lowest of societies can provide. I blush to recall those days of drinking, gambling, and indulging in other unsavoury pastimes. I blush even harder as I bring to mind the succession of strong-willed and even stronger-thighed women I fell in love with. My only excuse is that such lack of restraint was latent in my blood. And while I had not followed my brother's example while they lived, I celebrated their memories by following it now. Hmm. Okay, that's, a, that's definitely not the way we're supposed to go. So I try off. What is this place being here? Like, Millfields Monorail, Monorail Station. Okay. We don't want to get there quite yet. Can we? I wonder if we can get into that cave eventually. Hmm. Don't. Oh, thank you. No. Oh, God damn it. Man. Thank you. Okay, where are we? Where are the gra the graves? What? Digging spot. Okay, where is it? Somewhere over there? Yes? Okay. Come on, you can do this. Believe in you. Thank you. Pearl. Nice, this place is really rich. All we find is gold or precious stones. Wait, 
Where am I? Oh, a silver key. Actually, glad I came here. What? Um, again? Okay. Thank you. Another three hundred gold, three thousand gold. That's very nice. But we are here looking for grave. <laughs> let's not forget that. So let's do our best and find it. Okay, I think I think it's here. Oh, and there's a silver key. Another one. We already have 18! Nice! We are nearly halfway there. Okay. Oh, so this is the grave. If you say so. Treasure? <laughs> this dog is all over the place. Then the Normani. No manomicon. This ancient tome emits a cold aura that appears to be bound in human skin. You can see the freckles, found within our dark incantations and evil rites. The rhubarb stew recipe recipe on the final page sounds particularly malicious. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you. I'm sorry. Wait, who watered them? Once again. I can see just as much as you can see. So I'm sorry about that. I just wanna, wanna get this achievement progressed. Oh, there's even more of them. Okay. I'm trying! But there's so many of them. What? Okay, I think this is the last one. Or not? Yes, you already mentioned the roses. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> oh my. He's summoning the big, big boss. Boys. He summons the big boys. He's the big boss that summons big boys. No, oh, no. We wanted to shoot only him. Can I pull it? Can I make it? Okay, yes I can. Oh no 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 no, okay. Shoot only him, thank you. Well, you sorted out those hollow men with no trouble at all. Of course. Perhaps you should keep that book. With your skills, it will be safer with you than in my grave. And it's a bit uncomfortable. Frankly. Well, I suppose I'll get back in then. If you see my sons, tell them they'd better be back here by supper if they know what's good for them. Okay. Now where's the treasure luggy? Oh, it's inside. Oh. Spending all the years of your young life on a small farm in a backwater county has made you restless. 
Who knows what flight of fancy or idle daydream first sparked your desire for adventure? But once ignited, the flames of wanderlust could not be extinguished, not even by the water of looking at things in more realistic terms, and perhaps considering a career in excavation. Your parents tried to reason with you, but the protests of the old ring hollow in the ears of a strong-willed young farm boy or girl like you. And so now you stand at a crossroads. It's a nice one, with newly painted signs and a bench. If you want to head east towards the ominous ruin, turn to page two. To go west towards the ancient forest, turn to page four. To head north towards the snow-covered mountains, turn to page 156. If you want to go south, which is back home, read this page again. No, oh, I always liked this kind of books, the paragraph games. More collaborators heal, first rate sluggard, second rate playwright, third rate braggart. I hoped I read that right. Let's see, I wanna get to the morning mood. Where are we? Okay, oh no. No, I don't wanna get... Can I get here somehow faster? Yes, I... Yes, I wanna get as close as possible, thank you. Hopefully I won't attract any undead. And by the way, I just noticed those trees have their roots up. What if the page we open to is just the continuation of the previous page? Alright, if that happens, we'll flip back until we find the beginning of the section, but we'll do it boldly. Did you find the book in Mum's grave? Which was early, and which we drove her to. We've got it! Now, let's see what's in here. Ghost pantry. Must be where the snacks are kept. Ghost pants. That sounds interesting. Yeah, maybe a bit too interesting, at least to start with. Uh, what else? Ghost party! Brilliant! Right, let's have that then. Now then, <clears throat> Necrus Rhysius Cordroy! Thank you very much for that. And oh, you're welcome. And we're gonna end this part here. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.